Well, hello again everybody and welcome back to the garage. Uh, we're back onto the Triumph Street Triple today. Chaz has very kindly come up from uh, his place to give me a hand with this and we're going to try and get it all back together and uh, maybe even running today. Alright Chaz, you've uh, managed to get the head sorted out for you a bit. Sorted yeah. out, yeah, let's have a... Alright, so there's a... Look at your old gasket. That's the old gasket, that. Yeah. Alright, so what we've got is, I'll run the thread up and down on that one, that's all good. I didn't want to try and get that out of there in case it No, no, end, you know what no. I mean? it's, all, it's all good, it's all, you know, it's all tight. And then, um, cleaned all these up, spark eroded the ones out that were snapped in there and cleaned the threads. Yeah. Redone them. And then that one, I had to drill it right out. Uh, it's near the oil, I took it right out and then put a sleeve right in there. See how deep the threads are? Yeah, yeah. So what was the company that did this, Jess? It was, um... Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what he's got. He's a mate of mine. He's got an engineering shop. Ah, we'll, so we'll, we'll put a we'll name give, in We'll, the, give, we'll in give him the, a shout next video, time, yeah. 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 As you yeah. see, look, it's, um... It's nicely done. Brilliant. And they, yeah. took, a, they took a line across. So he got it. It's absolutely spot yeah. on. So. Fantastic. So that should all go back together nicely now. But I said to him about it, you know, he said I could try and get it out. He says, but you end up with another one. He said, like there's, the nothing, he said there's nothing wrong with it. He yeah. said it's it's all good. So well, we've got all new studs for the others anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. So we should be all right with that. Give it a clean up though. Look. Yeah. Let's give that a bit as you clean it as it is. See what I mean? You know, to yeah. To, that's all right, we can do that. that, that's what we wanted. Yeah. Very lovely. So what's the first thing then, Chaz? What are we going to do first? Clean up. Bit of a clean up. All right, right eh? Yeah, give it everything to clean up and then we'll go from there. So yeah, we're just getting rid of any bits of carbon build up or old burnt oil and stuff off the head with this uh, abrasive mesh stuff. It's uh, very light, uh, no need to go too heavy or get too crazy with it. rub down the head a little bit just to get rid of the uh, gunk and goo off it and Chaz has also had a get, bit of a go at the uh, main engine block here. Right, well we've got a brand oh. new cylinder head gasket, uh, got a lot of packing material and uh, we should have all new bolts and washers, they're stretch bolts in the cylinder head. That's got a two stage torque setting obviously to the right sequence and then you have to do it 120 degrees now we've not got a degree meter but that is just a third of a turn um, we might make our own rudimentary one or we might just judge a third of a turn what do you reckon Chaz? we'll make something up on a piece of paper I forgot my bits yeah yeah we'll make something up um, so yeah I think it's time to crack on and uh, fit the cylinder head So here we go, the head is on and we are now tightening up the stretch bolts. It is important to tighten them up in the correct sequence, so we're referring to the Haynes manual for that. ourselves a crude degree meter just with some cardboard and some basic geometry. Right then Chas, what's next? Is it the uh, we'll uh, put that little bypass hose on and then yeah. we'll um I think it's what is it? Camshafts I can imagine. Camshafts chain. Camshafts and timing chain. I think so yeah. Right oh is there two bolts going in the back casing? Yeah there are just two good look those yeah, oh yeah, we've got to put those in as well. Let's we? stick them in first yeah. and then we'll all right, all right, find them, I'll do this and then we'll go, we'll get them. Yeah. 
Well, it's brilliant that Chaz has driven all the way up here to help me out with this today. Uh, we had quite a long day yesterday. We were at the motorhome show at the NEC. So, yeah, much appreciated uh, for Chaz to come and help me today. Now we're putting in the timing chain and the timing chain guides. Right, well, now that's done, I think we're going to have a little bit of a break and we're going to go and have some breakfast before we come back, throw this in the bike and then go for a ride, isn't that right, Chaz? <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Right? And just like that, we're back. That was a good breakfast, weren't it, Chaz? Very good, yeah. Yeah, we had breakfast up the garden centre, and Nicky got some bags of compost and stuff. But that's all done now, and we're back on this. So it's back on the uh, getting the camshafts in, isn't it, Chaz? It is, yeah, and this chain. And the chain. Make sure the chain goes either side of that. Of the, of the support bolt. Of the support bolt, otherwise it'll end up all yeah, one-sided. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not very supportive at all. Right, let's crack on with this then. Let's do it. So the first job is to put the shims and the cam followers back on top of the valves. And of course, we've been very careful to mark them up and store them safely in this old paint pot. And uh, yeah, that paid off because we we're able to get each shim back on the correct valve and avoid any clearance issues, hopefully. Fortunately, the camshafts are clearly marked in take and exhaust and they have very, very clear timing marks on them for you to line up, as does the uh, cam chain pulley on, on the end of the crankshaft. So that's brilliant. It's also very important, of course, that the plate holding the camshafts in place is bolted down in the correct order and to the correct torque as well. So uh, definitely referring to the manual here. Right, oh, so we've got the cams on now and we think it's all timed up right with the chain and everything so i think now i'm going to fix the the tensioner and then just double check those timing marks again well we were having all sorts of problems with this tensioner uh, you have to hold the plunger back in it with the little spring clip that's inside it. But uh, the moment we did that, it just sprung out again. And uh, yeah, we had a proper fight with it. and the, the cam shaft holder and the cam shaft tensioner. We had a little bit of trouble with the tensioner, didn't we, Chaz? Yeah, I think it was just because the, it, it had been out before. Yeah. And the, you know, they put the clip, there was a clip that wasn't in right, but that's yeah, didn't seem that. quite right, did it? So it's okay now, it's good now. We were fairly pleased with the progress we're making. Um, we just got to stick the covers and bits and pieces on it and uh, hang it in the bike frame and uh, top it up with oil and water and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we'll get it in the bike frame, 
you get the exhaust on it. Yeah, yeah. Get all that. So get that pinned up, and then we'll put, then we'll get the fluids in. Then we'll crank it over, you know, for thirty seconds or so without um, feel or anything. Yeah. Well, any ignition on it, yeah. So we can um, we can get the oil around it. Um, but it's even, you know. Then we get the fluids in it, and then we'll uh, take we'll, it for a ride. Well, that's about it, then, isn't it? It's like yeah, yeah. Putting the bit, putting it back together with it, with it. You know, it's all back together out of which yeah. is lovely. So. Yeah, we're quite pleased with the progress. Isn't yeah, it? it's gone together. You know. Anyway, I'm not saying anymore, just in case. No, let's crack on. Let's just get it done, yeah, let's crack on. So now we're putting the various covers back on the rocker cover, the cam chain cover, a couple of other little bits and pieces that we'd taken off. Uh, it's all time lapses, I'm afraid, because, uh, yeah, we just didn't have time to film a step-by-step -step, uh, with the limited time we had available, but... Uh, yeah, be good to get this done. The engine all back together again and all the various covers and bits and pieces on i don't think there's anything else to add back on to the engine our box of cylinder head stuff is empty apart from the old stretch bolts which uh, obviously we didn't reuse so i think now it's going to be popping the engine back in the bike chas isn't it just pop it in pop it in that's the thing like that. yeah just got to done pop it in yeah. 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 So, yeah. Ten Let's, minutes. Ten minutes, yeah. Let's pop it in then, Probably shall we? Ten minutes on this film. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing to do is to drop the engine onto the floor. We're putting it on a dust sheet just to stop it getting damaged. And then move the bike into the middle of the garage so we can get round it to work on it. Then wind the engine mount adjusters right back. We didn't have the special tool for this, we just managed with a big screwdriver. Now we've got to get the engine into position in the frame and get the mounting bolts in. Now, We've only got a trolley jack and a block of wood to help us do this. We've got no uh, lift or anything to work off of. So this would be very tricky on my own. So uh, Chaz's help was uh, was very, very much appreciated here. Uh, I think this would be almost impossible trying to do uh, by yourself. As you can see, it took us quite some time to get everything lined up right in the right place and get all the mounting bolts and spacers in correctly. Now we're going to wind in the frame adjusters to hold the engine in the mounts correctly.
work, mate. Cheers, Chaz. Cheers. Well, you're welcome. As you can see, the uh, engine is now in. Um, so that's uh, very nice. That was a bit of a gain to get in, wasn't it, Chaz? So the way they mount them, isn't it? This. Yeah. It's okay. So it was. It wasn't horrendous. No. It wasn't horrendous. No. It was like it was. Um, just mildly awful. Yeah, I've done it. No. Yeah. I've done, a, <laughs> I've done. Believe me, I've done a lot worse. Yeah. So yeah. So now we're going to take the jack out and then put all the other bits and pieces back on. So what we're doing here is just reconnecting the clutch cable because obviously there's a little bit of tension in the clutch springs and it's easier to do with two people. Next we're going to attach the fork legs and the front wheel so the bike can be wheeled around easier uh, about the garage without using the stands. Next, to get the drive sprocket on and the chain mounted sort of over the top of it, I'm going to have to release the back wheel a little bit, move the back wheel forward to give us some slack. folks we we kind of lost track of the time there it's uh, just gone half past five now and we started here this morning at eight o'clock and we only really sort of had an hour off for breaks for sort of a spot of breakfast and a cup of tea so uh, yeah we were starting to feel it a little bit and uh, Chaz got a long ride home so we decided what we're gonna do we just get the bike on its wheels so it's not taking up quite so much space in the garage and I can get other stuff back in again and uh, yeah we're gonna have to leave the rest I think for another day we made really good progress we've got the engine back together it's no longer in two halves a separate block and head and we've got the engine into the bike we've got the forks on we've got the uh, sprocket and the chain and everything back on so it's basically now we're gonna put on the radiator the throttle bodies uh, fill it up with oil, uh, adjust the chain, I've got to get the right size uh, socket to tighten up the sprocket and uh, put the fuel tank back on, connect up all the wires and bits and pieces and uh, yeah so not quite done yet but very very good progress I think. <laughs> 